And I welcome you back to the DeBernick Channel. And today we are talking about the Colorado River and we are going to see what is going on. It's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, so I figured why not? I have tomatoes cooking, so I will be trying to get this done by the end of the day. So if you hear this, then you know it happened. So here we go. We are starting off at the Flaming Gorge and you can see at the Flaming Gorge, the water level 6,031.51 feet. That is Sunday, July 30th, 2023 at 2 p.m. The level is 15.49 feet below full pool of 6,047. And we continue to roll on. The Flaming Gorge is down 0.04 feet in the last 24 hours. Flaming Gorge is 0.02 feet up in the last 14 days in the last 365 days flaming gorge is up 15.40 feet and we go out here and you can see that the graphs 647 is full pool in 2021 the level was 6023.11 feet last year was 6016.11 feet today is 6031.51 feet 5871 feet is to inactive pool and 5740 feet is to dead pool and we continue you to roll on here flaming gorge's inflows and outflows your inflows are currently 1153 your outflows are 1755 and we go out to lake navajo next here we are at lake navajo and you can see that the level is starting to tell off as you can see that it's starting to it peaked back in around june and now it's starting to level off the water level today is 6057.76 feet msl sunday July 30th, 2023 at 2 p.m. The level is 27.24 feet below full pool of 6,085. Changes since yesterday, the level is down 0.14 inches in the last 24 hours. Lake Navajo is down 1.52 feet in the last 14 days. In the last 365 days, Lake Navajo is up 33.45 feet. So that's fantastic news and we continue to roll on. Your inflows and outflows at Lake Navajo, your inflows are 806. Your your outflows are 669 and we go down to Blue Mesa and here is the Blue Mesa graph. You can see that it's kind of peaked, came back up, went back down and that's where we stand. The current water level at Blue Mesa is 7,509.84 feet MSL Sunday, July 30th, 2023 at 2 p.m. The level is 9.56 feet below full pool of 7,519.40 feet and we continue to roll on. Blue Mesa is down 0.09 in the last 24 hours. Blue Mesa is down 1.39 feet in the last 14 days. In the last 365 days, Blue Mesa is up 49.53 feet and we continue to roll. As we go out to Blue Mesa, you can see that the water level at Blue Mesa is up 49.69 feet from one year ago. Blue Mesa is up 52.60 feet from two years ago. Blue Mesa is 152.40 feet from Deadpool. We go out to your inflows and your outflows next your inflows are currently 92 for blue mesa and your outflows are 476 so they're releasing quite a bit it is very warm out there we definitely need the monsoons to kick in and we'll be looking at windy.com here in a few minutes so right about the middle of the video so be sticking around for that we are out at lake pal and you can see that this thing has peaked right around july just like predicted and it's starting to tell off now and they're releasing quite a bit of water down to lake mead the water level is currently 3500 180.93 feet MSL Sunday, July 30th, 2023 at 3 p.m. The level is 119.07 feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday. Lake Powell is down 0.31 in the last 24 hours. Lake Powell is down 3.09 feet in the last 14 days. In the last 365 days, Lake Powell is up 44.66 feet. So that has come down quite a bit. We were up almost close to 50 feet and now we're down almost 6 feet. Here's your graph. You can see that full pool at Lake Powell is 3,700 feet. In 2021, the level was 3,554.20 feet. Last year was 3,536. And this year, we are higher than we are the last two years, which is fantastic fantastic news. We'll take it 3,580.93 feet. Inactive pool is 3,490. Deadpool is 3,370. So we are doing really good on that for a change and we will take that and we continue down to Lake Powell. As of July 30th, 2023 at 12 a.m. the level is 
44.66 feet from one year ago. Lake Powell is up 26.73 feet from two years ago. Lake Powell is 90.93 feet from Deadpool. So we continue to roll out to your inflows and your outflows. These inflows have been 5,697. Your outflows have been 18,626 feet. And that is crazy. They have kept this up at a high pace. And we continue to roll out to windy.com. You can see Denver is going to get pegged with a ton of rain here. 2.26 feet in the next 10 days. I know that's not in the Colorado River system. I was just saying. We go up to Steamboat Springs. They're expecting an inch. Aspen 1.25. Tell you right, almost an inch. 1.3. And then you could see right through here just a very little rain. And then Sapa 0.65. Page 0.25. Canab 0.42. St. George 0.39. Las Vegas even 0.38. So that'll be good. My friends down in Lake Havasu, 0.2. Go down to my friends down in Cholo, 0.2 down there. Flagstaff, 0.4. We go to the European and see if it's any different. It's very different completely. So they're not calling for near as much. They're calling for quite a bit up here by the Flaming Gorge. 2.58 would be good. Up here at the beginning of the Flaming Gorge, this would be really good if they got this much precipitation, almost 2.67 inches. That's really good. Steamboat Springs, there's still 0.75 vel 1.28 aspen 1.45 grand junction 1.19 tell you right one inch let's roll out to lake mead next as we are at Lake Mead, the current water level is 1,060.70 feet. And you can see that here. Sunday, July 30th, 2023 at 3 p.m., the level is 168.30 feet below full pool of 1,229. Lake Mead has all up arrows all the way across the board. Lake Mead is up 0.19 feet in the last 24 hours. Lake Mead is up 1.76 feet in the last 14 days. In the last 365 days, Lake Mead is up 19 19.95 feet and we go out to Lake Mead last three years in the last three years the level was 167.70 feet in 2021 last year we were like uh oh we were at 1040.75 feet we are up almost 20 feet since last year we're point point five feet away at 1060.70 feet inactive pools 950 Deadpool's 895, and we continue to roll on as of July 30th, 2023. Lake Mead is up 19.95 feet from one year ago. Lake Mead is down 7.00 feet from two years ago. Lake Mead is 110.70 feet from an active pool. Lake Mead is 165.70 feet from Deadpool. We go out to your inflows and your outflows. Lake Mead's inflows have been killing it. Inflows 20,671 in. 11,574 out down to Lake Mojave next and you can see this is all over the place this is where we're currently at right here on Lake Mojave it looks like jumbo mess because it is that's just the way Lake Mojave has always been it very seldom fluctuates so you can see that they pretty well keep an even kill about it goes back and forth pretty close to the vest especially when it gets to around October November and then it kicks back up in December so the water is currently 642 Point seven two feet MSL Sunday July 30th 2023 at 3 p.m. the level is 4.28 feet below full pool of 647 and Lake Mojave is down 0.12 feet in the last 24 hours Lake Mojave is up 0.15 feet in the last 14 days in the last 365 days Lake Mojave is down 1.60 feet we go to Lake Mojave's inflows and outflows your current inflows are 15,103 your outflows are 12,796 and down to Lake Havasu we go next. Lake Havasu is all over the place, kind of Lake Mojave. You can see that it's mumble jumble. Here's where we stand right here. We're almost to August and this is the latest update there. We go to your water level. Your water level is 448.16 feet Sunday, July 30th, 2023 at 3 p.m. The level is 1.8 four feet below full pool of 450 changes since yesterday the level is up 0.13 feet in the last 24 hours lake havasu is up 0.55 feet
Navy in the last 14 days. In the last 365 days, Lake Havasu is down 1.42 feet. We continue to scoot on here. Lake Havasu, 450 feet to full pool, 448.54 feet in 2021. Last year was 449.04. Today's 447.70. So you can see the difference. Power loss is 440. Deadpool's 400. We continue to roll on. Lake Havasu is down 1.34 feet from one year ago. Lake Havasu is down 0.84 feet from two years ago. Lake Havasu is 7.70 feet from power loss. Lake Havasu is 47.70 feet from Deadpool. And we go to your inflows and outflows for the final stop tonight. The inflows are 12,050 and your outflows are 9,302. And thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you guys had a blessed day. Thanks for everybody who has stuck with me through thick and thin i much appreciate it i have been very busy getting these graphs up as i was doing the video i noticed that some of these are not completely perfect yet so i still got some tweaking to do and i thought i had it done the other night and i came back the next day and a lot of things were missing i was like that's kind of odd but anyhow thank you guys for sticking with me and we will see you on the next one god bless